Welcome to another exciting edition of Travel Guide. If you are new here consider subscribing. Today we will be visiting the Lincoln Park Zoo Chicago. The zoo can be a bit crowded so keep that in mind when you visit patients as key Christmas time is probably one of the best times to visit the light displays are definitely worth the trip, and traffic getting there. Water fountains don't work though, highly suggest bringing water bottles so you don't spend more than you need to see animals. Best times to go is late morning early afternoon, noon can be too hot for some animals, and can lead to sleepy ones. Don't bring your pets to the zoo unless an authentic service dog because this is a place to see exotic animals not a risk for your pooch, or other wildlife. Great experience, and no charge was a nice change yes food, and drinks are a bit pricey, but no admission charge evened it out. A beautiful zoo. Well maintained plus admission is free. If you drive there parking can go up to 30 for 4 hours at Lincoln Park Zoo parking lot. We'll need to return for a full day next year to experience the entire park. But a fun time was had by all. I'd highly recommend just taking public transport, or lift unless you want to take forever hoping parking opens up, or paying exorbitant parking prices at reserved lots. Lincoln Park Zoo is a public park so it's always free to visit. It's often the lovely zoo, and when it isn't it's never feeling super sad, or poorly taken care of. Free, beautiful, and best of all, small enough that you can do it before the kids' nuclear meltdown from having to walk all day. A beautiful place to visit, filled with sights, sounds, and smells of varying nature. This is a really nice zoo with plenty to look at, and the best part is, summer at the zoo is just a great feeling though, even if many of the animals aren't visible getting some ice cream, or lounging at one of the outdoor cafes is quintessential Chicago summertime fun. The corn maze gets torn apart, and easy to see through pretty quickly, but tickets are cheap for the attractions, and since the zoo is free, it's good to support it. As an adult the lights aren't quite as magical, but the environment there, with festive music, and snack smells all around, and everyone in a happy mood, is just a rare treat in the city. There's just like five animals to see not including birds, snakes, and fish park is beautiful, clean, but really wish that there is more animals to see. Such a beautiful zoo, and bonus a little arboretum throughout the zoo. Despite the heat, a lot of the animals were outside, can't beat the price. The zoo has such a wide variety of animals on display you will find something that interests you. Even parking can be free in the street, but if you can't find any they do have some parking placed where you can park for a fee without time limit. If you want to go inside any of the houses to see animals such as reptiles, and monkeys, I'd recommend getting there no later than 2 hours before closing time. Check out the wolves, polar bear, otters, and the giraffes. A lot of fun, and free. Also be sure to walk next door to the Arboretum, and say hello to Hillary the Turtle. This is a really nice zoo free, and they have been working really hard to update in recent years, which has continued to improve it. It's either pretty pricey, or you have to fight for one of the free street spots which can take a while, and be a bit frustrating. This is another reason why Chicago is such a world-class city, to have a free zoo in the middle of the city with great selection of animals in a good habitat. The staff and volunteers are always so kind, and welcoming, and being there for the Christmas lights event was a great way to be introduced to this wonderful spot. The big cats will be missed during the renovations, but we're very excited to see the development of their enclosure. Anybody visiting the city of Chicago, is doing themselves a disservice by not spending an afternoon in Lincoln Park Zoo. It's still a nice zoo for it to be free to the public. The kids had fun, and that's all that matters. Great place to spend family time. Love the sheer size of the zoo compared to some other zoos we e visited, and the fact that it, right there by the lake, can get busy, so if you don't want the crowds get there early. Bus stops convenient, and there are a number of great restaurants nearby. As such, if you only have a little bit of time, or you have a lot of time, you get to see as much as you want. It's beautiful to be in the zoo with the city in the background, and the garden next to the zoo is very beautiful. One of the best zoos in the city. LPZ does a lot of good for endangered species, and research on urban wildlife. And since the zoo itself is free, Terry's less pressure to try to see everything in one day if you're done, simply move on to a different part of Lincoln Park, or head home. Note that parking isn't cheap, though, so you're better off taking transit any of several bus lines will get you there. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, and leave your comments below.